Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan and America First Credit Union. A young local couple found themselves in the fight of their lives with four small children and a diagnosis that would shatter their dreams. This Henderson couple held strong and did everything possible for each other. Jessica, a waitress at Chili's, and Robert, a wood craftsman, would soon get help thanks to a former teacher who tipped off the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. I met Jessica when she was seven years old here in Las Vegas, and I was her second grade teacher. She was sweet and kind, and I always wanted to have a daughter. We have stayed in contact ever since then. Jessica and her husband, Robert, actually met um, through mutual friends and knew that they were meant. Then they started to form their family rather quickly. We got a four-year-old, twin two-year-olds, and a six-month-old, so. Wow. Every Chili's that I've worked at, there's that bond. That's kind of how it feels, especially with Jessica. You know, when I got to this restaurant, she was pregnant. It's like, great, this is something exciting we get to experience with her, and then this happened. Her husband is fighting for his life. Testicle cancer is where it started. It spread through his stomach and into his lungs. They had to flight for life him to the LA hospital. She's been traveling back and forth from LA because she can't afford to miss work right now. I've been in LA for the last week, so yeah, I'm heading out tonight. Yeah, I'll be leaving around like three or four in the morning or so. She looks at him as 25 years old and a lot of fight in him. In her heart, she's still convinced that he's gonna be here for them. Our surprise squad is in the restaurant, undercover, ready to go. She has no idea this is going to be her best shift ever. She's worried about the van going back and forth. She's concerned with losing the home. Any money that they have coming in helps. It's like she just got the tip for $200. Here you go, you can do it. Okay, no, it's all for you. You're good. Serious? Yeah. Oh, that's a $300 tip. No idea. That's that's a it's a huge blessing. No, Thank you got so it. Much. What did he give you? He gave you 500. I'm gonna give you a thousand. Oh my God! Don't do that. Are you serious right now? Sure. Oh my god! Okay. Are you okay? Yes. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. My husband's actually in the hospital. I almost lost him a week ago. Ready? Here we go. Hello? Is Jessica here? I'm Monica Jackson with the Fox 5 Surprise Squad. How are you? Oh my god, I'm great. How are you? Oh my god. This is so amazing. Oh my god, I can't even believe this. We heard about everything you're going through from a very special person. Oh my God, Kim! Oh my God! <laughs> you got four beautiful little ones. I gotta do it for them. It's all I can do. So when you get to the hospital where Robert is, what's the routine there? This week I had to just do it on a drop of a dime and I couldn't afford it. So I, um, I slept in my car for a day, but I'm trying to smile through it still. I have to, that's what, that's what everyone knows me for. Our family at United Nissan, we believe that at this time the best place for you to be is by your husband's side. So we put together a little something. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you so much. We wanted to help with two more things. As far as a place to stay. We've talked to USC and we have hotel options for you, so we're going to take care of that. And then we also are giving you a car to drive back and forth, okay? Oh my God, oh my God you guys are my angels. <laughs> Robert is going to be so happy. I, I can't believe it. There's still great people in the world that <laughs> you, you just don't ever give up hope and there's always someone out there that will help you. You got really choked up just knowing that she really was taken back by it, that people, you know, complete strangers were looking out for her. It's one of those things that leaves you without words. I had no idea. 
I thought it was just me and my family out there trying to do this. And trying to keep all of our hopes and dreams alive and bringing daddy back home. Luckily my kids are young enough that I can shelter them from this, but my biggest thing is just keep your head high and keep smiling because as long as you can keep smiling, you'll make it through it. Wow. Robert held on as long as he could. You saw there on that graphic, he passed away Friday evening with his family by his side. If you'd like to help the Reveredo family during this difficult time, we have a link to their GoFundMe page on our website.